Hi guys, well today is the day that we can finally unveil the performance of the new NVIDIA GTX 1060. So over a week ago now we did an unboxing on this 1060 here, you know, giving you an overview of the specifications and also giving you a detailed look at the cooler. But unfortunately though we had that, that embargo to adhere to which kind of prevented us from revealing any of the performance results, the frame rates and such. And incidentally if you want to check out that video and see this card here in plenty of detail then we will pop a link on the screen. Uh, so as you'll appreciate, you know, with NVIDIA kind of splitting the announcement and the performance embargoes there, uh, this has kind of meant that we've had to uh, do the video in two parts. And so this particular video today, here today, uh, the performance video is going to be specifically focusing on those benchmark runs and is therefore going to be short and sweet. So guys, to test out the GTX 1060, we're going to run some gaming benchmarks. I'm going to have the AMD RX 480 run alongside for the comparison. And the games that we've selected are a combination of DirectX 11 and 12. And they are Dirt Rally, The Witcher 3, Hitman, Thief, Star Wars Battlefront and Doom using Vulkan. And inside each of these games we're going to be using 1080p for the resolution and then we're going to ramp up those settings right up to Ultra. Now for those wanting more resolutions, additional games and comparison against other cards, head over to the full review over in the description. And while we check these games out, we're also going to have GPU-Z running in the background to pick up on the max GPU temperature. So we'll jump out of Doom for that and we'll have a listen to the cooling fan under load. Okay, so let's begin.
Okay, and while we're in Doom, we're just going to get the microphone off and get it close to that card, just to give you guys a bit of a rough idea of the noise levels emitted while it is fully loaded. Okay, and if we just come out and uh, have a look at the peak temperature, GPU-Z has a maximum reading there of 72 degrees for the peak temperature, which actually isn't too bad for a reference design. And of course, uh, all of the temperature, the, the heat there, is being contained within that uh, cooler and it is being exhausted out through the back. And of course, 72 degrees isn't too bad in terms of uh, the headroom as well, so we can perhaps apply an overclock to this card and still have a reasonable temperature there to play with. So my good friends, that is the GTX 1060. So in terms of the performance, this card is neck and neck with the GTX 980. In some games, it performs better, but in others, it kind of falls behind just a few frames. Uh, but the crucial factor in all of this is that the 1060 does indeed offer us a better solution, a superior solution over the AMD RX 480. It offers us the higher frame rates, it consumes less power, it operates at a lower temperature with that uh, reference design, and it emits less noise. But what about the price comparison, the cost comparison? Well, the RX 480 is going to be slightly cheaper for you to buy, but uh, we do have a faster card in the 1060, and of course we have those custom cards available right now which are going to squeeze even more performance out of that GPU. Now we did manage to overclock this founder's edition here to a more than acceptable point, so if you prefer a blower design and you want to squeeze even more speed, even more performance out of this card, then you can do quite easily. Now we are going to be having a look at some of these custom 1060s over the next few videos, so be sure to check those out. We're going to be comparing these cards uh, frame by frame compared to the founder's edition here, so keep a look out for those. And as always guys, the full review for this particular 1060 here is going to be up on the screen and in the description very soon. Over on Vortez.net we did a uh, comparison there to the different lineup of cards, current and previous generation, and the uh, DirectX 12 games are all there, and the different settings too. And uh, in between these videos guys, we're actually frequently updating our Instagram page with uh, behind the scenes photos, so if you're interested in seeing what is going on here be between these videos, and be sure to follow us over there. Thanks for watching today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Please uh, give us a like if you enjoyed this content. Please also subscribe if you did enjoy it. Uh, take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys next time.